Hey guys, um, I've had a bunch of people ask about P-Pump 24 valves. Um, so doing like VP44 24 valve into a P-Pump engine, um, what is entailed in doing it. Um, now we have a buddy of mine that we're putting an engine together. He's actually helping a little bit, but he's got a bummed up shoulder. Um, so I'm, I'm, um, I'm gonna do some of it and he's gonna you know, clean all the parts and do, do what he can um, without hurting himself um, because he's got a, an issue with a shoulder. So for you guys that um, want to see this, um, we're doing it to this. So I'm going to show a little bit, um, you know, switching cases and stuff. Obviously it's going to be a, we're building an engine. Um, so I'm going to put part of it together and then take it back apart again, just to show you guys the idea. Um, so it's not going to be like a complete build when I do one um, from scratch to, and I will video that too, just to show you guys. Um, but just to give you an idea how to do it, we're gonna do a video on it being we're putting one together. So this is actually the block right here. Um, we checked the rods out already. Um, Ford and Hone 20 over. Ouch. Ford and Hone 20 over. Um, but we're this, we're, so this is actually gonna be a 6-1 um, build. So this is gonna be a 6-1 P-Pump 24 valve. So 6-7 crankshaft, um, you know, so it'll be, it'll be pretty cool. It's, it'll be a cool build. Um, but this thing's going to go together in, in a real fast time. We already have the cylinder head done, except for I have to, uh, we have to O-ring it and assemble it. Um, but we're going to be doing a, a bunch of this stuff to this, like in a real hurry. So I'm going to video all of it um, and I'll, I'll post it up um, when we get it done. We, I might just post it all at one time and we'll just video it all at one time. So anyways, uh, I won't be showing the head build on that being that we already have the head done. Um, but I'll I'll link in the description for it. So this will be video one of the VP4424 valve into a P pump and building it into a 6.1, but we won't be tearing it down obviously because it's already tore down. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys. Um, so this will be video one of doing that. And uh, just so you guys are aware, um, there will be this one coming. Um, I finally should have the rest of the parts for this next week. So I can actually put it on, I'm gonna build the stand that I was talking about. Uh, I'll get the turbo, the manifold, uh, and get it all done so we can actually start it and run it. And then I'm gonna weigh it after I do that so we'll know a fixed full weight on it. So I've had a few people ask, I did that weight video, um, and I'll link it up, I'll, I'll link it, I'll link it up, uh, link it up um, above here, but uh, at the end, but, We'll have that running, so I'll do a run video on that, and that'll be the end of that series. That series will be done. Um, be nice to be done and over with with it, because I'd like to get that engine out of here. I'm gonna bring it to my house, uh, just so it's out of the way, not sitting in the way here. So, um, anyways, that'll be uh, the, that'll be it for this one. Um, I appreciate you guys watching, sharing the videos, all that stuff. If you do have anybody, can you share? You know, I appreciate if you guys could share my videos, share my channel. Um, on you know any of the pages that you're on guys are asking questions um, you know if you can refer them over to it um, like to get the channel to, to take off um, you know same as everybody else I guess but you know it's one of those things I've been really hammering on the content so that you know there's lots of stuff for you guys to watch and you know, lots of information and we're gonna get into some funny videos but anyways like subscribe hit me down in the comments hit the notification the notification button can't talk apparently um, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.